Welcome everybody, PK Light here. We're doing the Cage the Meta TCGO tournament. So this is our demo game. This is WiseD24 and myself. We are running, if you caught our first video, um, where we introduced the Cage the Meta tournament and I hope you watched it. And if you didn't, please go check it out because it, it, it pretty much outlines how the tournament works. It's pretty cool. It has both myself and WiseD in the video simultaneously. Um, so anyways, um, Cage the Meta, uh, we have determined that there are certain rules and there are up to five of them in this round. <clears throat> Again, this is just a demo round. We're the only two people in it. It's not a full-blown tournament just yet until we have other people join. But, so the meta that we uh, we rolled from last time. I wish I had a way to pop it up on the screen right now. I probably could have done that. Anyways, maybe next time we're, can, we're getting better at Plaid is my thing. So, um, I always like to start out with friendly banter too. So, we don't have any stage one Pokemon, no mega evolution Pokemon. We have colorless Pokemon only. There was another uh, randomization that would allow for Fairy and Dragon as well, but because colorless only came up as one of the selections, it actually voided out the Fairy and Dragon options. So uh, the final randomization out of the five was no Tapu Lele or Shaman. Lele would have already been out of the meta due to the colorless rule, but uh, Shaman, again, um, that's an expanded we run this tournament in standard unless the expanded or unlimited option is randomly selected. So yes, th it's not always going to be standard, but uh, typically will be, um, like I said, unless it is randomly chosen otherwise. So let's just jump into this match. So I pulled Rayquaza off the bat. I'm run two in this deck. It's not exactly what I was looking for for a start. Um, uh, looking back on it, I would probably have swapped... Uh, one of the two Rayquazas for an extra Spinda, which you have not seen yet in this deck, but I am running one. I find it was a good, uh, good way to sort of stall the game until I can reset or whatever. So, uh, yeah, we had the Rayquaza start. We have Drampa on the board. As you see, we're starting to have a bit of a pattern here. He's got the Drampa. He's got Pidgeot and Talonflame. I'm also running two Talonflames, but I wasn't lucky if off the uh, draw. So, here he is, pulling lots of cards, doing a bit of damage. Um, I'm just plugging away, setting up. You probably notice our energies are different. Um, he went for a Kiawe uh, fire type, which I, spoiler, I don't think he actually Kiawe's at all this whole game, but I'm pretty sure that was his game plan. Um, my game plan was different. However, it's funny, I am a huge fan of Kiawe, and I run a Kiawe fire deck with Holo and other stuff. Um, I'm actually going to tweak it a bit, throw some Salazzle in there, but anyways, um, Kiawe is good, but I felt it was overkill, um, I wanted more tech in this deck, so I decided to use more, uh, Fairy Garden and Fairy Drop as a sort of a way to help myself heal and move Pokemon around the board, I thought it was a good idea, it's, it's a, it's a colorless energy, or a colorless, uh, Pokemon deck trick that I've seen in the past. So Drampa's powering up. We're taking some hits on Ray. Um, we're running Puzzle of Time in this deck, so we're constantly setting up the, the next card so we know we're, we're going to be drawing into what we need all the time. And if, we're hap if we happen to be lucky enough to get two of them, we can pull something back or two things back from our discard, which is a really great feature considering that VS Seeker's gone. Puzzle of Time is almost like could argue it's a vs seeker in, in a sense i i don't use it as uh efficiently as i could i do tend to use it more for setting up i tend to unless i pull too conveniently i i just sort of use them sing singular um here we go we're gonna drop that drampa make too long to make my decisions i even think this video is slightly sped up too just because <laughs> i take forever they're not timed in these private matches anyways so as you see i'm checking to see if i have a a reason for an enhanced hammer but i don't Knowing full well that his deck would be running DCs and uh, how helpful those are, I decided to get rid of my own um, stadium, drop some cards off of his hand, maybe uh, stifle his ability to progress for like a hand or two, you know, energies or whatever. We're going to instruct, see what we can pull off the top of the deck, and now is time to Righteous Edge and... Continue on and see what happens next. Don't mind me, I'm just drinking my coffee. Because I'm losing heat fast. I need to get myself a coffee warmer. I tweeted that before. <laughs> Nobody really seemed to care. 
And I was like, man, coffee warmers should still be a thing, or are they still a thing? <laughs> I remember as a kid, my dad had this, uh, he didn't really work from home or anything, but you know, he had a lot of trinkets and gadgets and stuff. And uh, I remember he had one. He would sit there and just leave his cup of coffee on it all, all day long. And I don't know if he would ever really finish it, but anyways, wish I had held on to that. <laughs> it's funny i have this like four dollar cheap coffee maker i imagine if i probably put it to the side and just turned it on and put my cup on the little base thing it probably would work who knows maybe i'll make a ghetto one maybe i'll make a video about making the world's most ghetto coffee warmer ever i'll just like hack the whole top of the coffee maker off it's a little cheap four dollar plastic one and just use it for the little electric base I feel like doing something silly like that. Sorry, I'm getting off top. I'm getting off topic again. If you ever watch any of my videos, you notice that's a common thing. So Dramp is powered up. We got damage on the bench. We're looking at a 150 berserk here. But as you know, when you hit Tauros, you can only usually end up with bad news. So here I am grabbing the heartbreak emoji even before I saw it coming, because I did see it coming, and I decided to go with it anyways. I was like, you know what? If there is the minimalist chance that he doesn't have another energy, I'm good. If I can pull a field blower, I'm good. I'll, I'll take away that fighting uh, fury belt. No problem. I'm not that lucky. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to sacrifice Baby Ray. Spinda would have been a better choice to get in there, but we do what we can. So, I think Guzma's coming. And instruct. Let's set up our next turn. Again, always checking to see if we need the enhance. If you see it when you're grabbing the puzzle time. So, Mr. Wise D24, what is up? We like to wear the same shirt, by the way. You know what's funny? In real life, we actually know each other. In fact, we work together. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're pretty good friends, but, um, <laughs> it's funny. Sometimes we'll, uh, see each other outside and we'll be wearing the same shirt or the same hat. And, like, I think we have the same Wu-Tang hat, the same Sriracha shirt. Like I'm scared one day we're both going to come in wearing the Sriracha shirt and the Wu-Tang hat. And one of us is going to have to go home like right away. It's not going to be cool. <laughs> if anybody on uh, YouTube or Twitter follows either one of us, you might've gathered that we are, uh, we're friends, uh, IRL. So, anyways. Never hurts to have a friend when you're poke tubing. So, yeah, this is I should maybe I dig a little deeper into this uh this cage the meta. So, this actually was born uh the concept of it while we were working one day. It was rather late at night. And we were spitballing the, some ideas for YouTube co concepts for channels or whatever. So anyway, so I don't remember who came up with it, but we were just thinking. I, I, I know when Pokemon Duel was where I started playing Pokemon um, sort of competitively. I don't play anymore. Game, Other issues, I'll, well, maybe I'll get into that with another video in the future about Duel, but why I don't play anymore. But anyways, um, oh, losing track. You never, you ever have like your thought just completely disappear from you. Um, what was I gonna say? We came up with this idea while working late one night on the line, and we were uh, thinking, you know, it would be cool if you could take the same game but just change some rules, tweak the rules about it. You know, like eliminate certain things, like um, cards, ran randomly just take things away from the game that you can't use in order to change the the meta. Literally, like it, it was, it just came with the concept of changing the meta. And then I was thinking about, I think I was listening to the radio and I heard the band Cage the Elephant. And I'm like, oh, that's such a cool name. I'm like, we should do Cage the Meta, right? Because I listen to a lot of music. YZD and myself both were music junkies. We actually have done a podcast in the past for music, but we've never released any of it. But uh, we're thinking of reviving the, the podcast again. Um, so anyways, so we came up with these list of rules on a piece of paper at like 2 in the morning one night. And... Uh, the next day, I was so I was so excited by our idea that I plugged away on the computer and I actually put it down to paper. And then we started brainstorming and tweaking and finalizing it. And then um, 
man, we're just so excited right now. Like having so much fun. I wish I could have recorded this live so you could have just seen exactly how insanely fun this was to build the deck, to battle it, to to be second guessing myself. Like, look, man, I'm just whipping the energy around because I didn't know what to do with it because I'm just like so competitive too. We play each other all the time, so we have a good ratio of who wins. Sometimes I'll win like back to back. Sometimes he wins back to back. You know, sometimes it's a split. You know, we'll play a couple games. We're we're pretty evenly matched in this game. That's what I appreciate about it. We uh, it's always a good give and take. You know. Definitely. Um, I think this week we're gonna send a couple invites out to a few people who. I've noticed on Twitter and YouTube that I watch some videos of that I feel like would be some great people to bring in. Um, I'm not going to name drop right now, but um, there will be some messages being sent out soon to a couple, uh, a couple YouTubers, Twitch streamers, other people who I, uh, who I think would be a lot of fun. Part of this, uh, this whole meta is pretty reliant on the fact that you do keep up with the game and that you, you play regularly in order to have like a a good card base to choose from because if you don't play regularly and if you don't have a lot of i don't know cards from all the sets more or less like i didn't go back we didn't so i said we yc and myself didn't go far as back as breakthrough and breakpoint decided that although they're in standard meta um try and keep it somewhat current so generations was as far back as we decided to go um all right and if that's something you think is wrong, let me know. If you think we should have break cards, if we should have breakthrough, break point, if, if the full standard meta should be in here, let us know what you think. I think that um, it's perf perfectly reasonable to have it in there. I just decided to, or we just decided to keep it down to generations. We have a little Pidgeot matchup going off here, as you see. Now, he has decided... I believe to pull back this Pidgeot and bring back out Talonflame. That's exactly what he does. And this game is so neck and neck. Just one Guzma and the game's over. But we're still in there right now. There's the Talonflames way too late in the game. So what are we gonna do here? We're gonna yeah, we're gonna flare grunt that energy away. We're gonna hit Talonflame and Pidgeot on the bench. We're gonna DCE that Drampa. And get it ready for the following turn. There we go. Another Lance. Yeah, we went such similar directions for this game. It's crazy. I only have one Pidgeot. I probably would have ran more than one, but I didn't really need it, as you see. I really wanted Drampa to be the uh, main attacker, but he didn't really end up... Yeah, I mean, he did. I got some attacks off, just... I, I don't play Drampa as well as other people do. I know it's a very good card and it has super high potential for 1KOs and stuff like that, but I don't know. Drampa is something I need more practice with. I do have four of them. Three of them are full art, so, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a good card. If it wasn't for the non-stage one, I probably would have been running Garbodor in this deck, as I'm sure YSD probably would have as well. But I gotta say... For probably um, a thrown together deck based on meta rules, it worked pretty well. We're thinking that uh, in the future that we might start taking our uh, our meta decks and then just doing a quick run in standard to see if it'll actually win. Just one game at the end of the tournament, take it into standard, see if it actually how it actually fares against other things. Probably won't work as well, but why not? I've never attempted to take this into standard yet. And here I feel the need to, which I should show you what I'm about to write here. <laughs> I'm going to move this really quick. And what's funny, I spelled dumb wrong. <laughs> I'm about to do something dumb. Because uh, I knew that I had seven cards left in my uh, hand. And I just sycamored looking for the last choice band because it wasn't in discard. It wasn't on my Pokemon, and so I was like, I knew it was either in the prize cards or it was in my final seven. So I decided to pull it anyways, because it would have been a one-hit KO had I gotten it. 
And then the most unfortunate thing happens. His connection dropped right as I was about to lose the game. All he had to do was hit done, and it would have been game over. Oh, why is D? We're going to have to rematch that one. Same deck, same time, same place. No, not the same. Where we will probably will do it again the next day or two here. And, um... Yeah, we'll drop you another video. We're probably going to run the randomizer one more time just for fun because it is super fun. And uh, like I said, uh, this is going to go live probably in the next week to two weeks. We're going to actually like start running the tournament. We're going to set up the uh, round robin and everything like that. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in, watching this video. That was our demo for Cage the Meta, and it was super fun. Like I said, I had an unexpected ending there. I was about to uh, about to lose, and then it took an unexpected turn. So, um, YSD24 is always fun. Uh, check out his channel, everybody. Check out his Twitter. I'm at, at Poke underscore Light. He's at YSD24 on Twitter. Um, thanks again, and check the next video soon, and we're out of here. Peace, guys.